around and say, well, everybody in my family's fat, so it's just genetics, and that's just the way we are. No. No. Hey everybody, it is April 23rd. I'm Adam, and this is your Daily Dose of today. I'm gonna pick up on something I left off yesterday, and that is, even if you're losing weight, that having credits can be a sign that you're on the right track. And this is because of a simple truth that I've observed. It's cliche, but I've observed it enough to believe in it. And that is um, misery loves company. Now, before you uh, say, I've already heard this before, let me tell you that there is actually, um, there's actually this is actually a good safety mechanism sometimes, and it can help some of you. And I'll give you that example first, and then we'll talk about the dangerous side of it. But so the good side is, um, that a lot of you, including myself, uh, can often be too hard on yourself. And because you're too hard on yourself, it actually keeps you from improving or getting better. We've spoken about this previously, but in this specific example I'll give, let's just say that you want to be a professional athlete. And we know that that's only a very small select few people that actually get to go do that. And of course we can accept, like realize that it makes logical sense, right? Statistically, you, the odds are not in your favor. And we also know that, yes, you do have to work hard, but also there's a factor of no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard millions of people work, there's only spots for a few professional athletes in the world. And so we say as normal people, sure. But uh, if you apply that to other things in your life that are statistically uh about as, as possible, we, we tend to be so super hard uh, on ourselves. And so just like we would look at that person who was a super great college athlete and maybe you know never played professional sports, uh, just couldn't make the cut, if they throw the rest of their life away, that's sad, right? And because they're so hard on themselves, because they always had a dream they were going to play professional ball or what have you. And if they throw the rest of their life away and you know turn to substance abuse or other things, that's just sad, right? But unfortunately, the story is common enough that um, that we've heard it before, and it's no different in your life. Um, look, it's great to have great dreams and shoot for the stars, but also, right, that you can't discount the journey along the whole way as part of your achievement of greatness. And sometimes we can throw all that away and realize it's not necessarily getting to the stars, but it's the journey along the way that makes us excel. Uh, that makes us so uh, much different than everybody else. So anyway, I say that it's good to be able to look at others and say, statistically, you know, I'm not abnormal. There's nothing wrong with me. Just, uh, uh, you know, the odds were against me doing that. Now, why is it dangerous? For two reasons. And so one is um, that it allows us, it can allow us to have a spirit of bitterness and that when we see others uh, struggle or not succeed in areas where we have struggled or not succeeded, um, it makes us happy and it brings us contentment. Um, and that's just not the right spirit to have. As somebody who uh, used to be that way, I can tell you, uh, it doesn't breed success. And I wouldn't be as successful today if I still had that mindset then. So that's something you have to consciously recognize and put away, I'm telling you. Maybe we'll talk about that some other time too, about what I, what I did to help me in that area. But then the other piece as we're nearing four minutes here that I want to talk about is, the, I think the biggest danger is complacency. And again, so since I said, started off with losing weight in this session, I'll pick that back up again. And that is you can look around and say, well, everybody in my family's fat, so it's just genetics and that's just the way we are. No. No. So yes, like if you take my family, um, most of us are rotund, <laughs> right? Um, uh, we're we're big boned, we're stocky. Uh, by and large, it's been that way through all my family. But that being said, that just means I I might have to work harder uh, in certain areas to achieve fitness. Like I said, I'm battled with my weight my whole life, and and I'm not super happy with where I'm at, but compared to where I used to be, I'm, I'm elated, right? Um, but it's something I have to battle with my whole life. And it's, you know, I have friends that I work out with that are, you know, national athletes and, you know, they can do, they can do no wrong, it seems, uh, physically. 
and, and that's just part of that's just part of life right so I could sit back and say oh well all Bowens are just kind of big and it's just the way we are and you know I'll never be healthy or in shape but I would be robbing myself I would allow that misery loves company that my uh, my failure loves to be surrounded with failure right complacency loves to be surrounded by other people who are complacent so this goes about surrounding yourself with people uh, building your network um, pouring into others all these things make a difference to get you out of that trap that you're in um, misery loves company but you know what uh, if we isolate misery put it in the back corner of our mind and we embrace success misery hates success especially especially the success of others the success of others will drive misery out if you embrace it and this is being a daily dose of today.